Hello! Tonight's Dates and Cakes episode, vlog, if you will, is called The Wink. And it's the oldest trick in the book for bartenders um, or people in the food and bev industry, um, players, just uh, in general. Um, they throw you a wink and automatically that's their game. Uh, automatically they are just uh, playing the numbers to see if they can get you. So this happened tonight, uh, moments before this video you see before you. Uh, I went to an Oktoberfest and <laughs> boy's totally not my type at all. Uh, he's super skinny and no ass, so I can't really do anything with that. And he screams, fuck boy. Um, he's like a pretty boy. I don't really go for those. Um, but I'm guessing he's used to like everyone being his, or he's be him being everyone's type. So my dad and I, and that's the best way to pick up a dude is bring your parents. So <laughs> I already told you I live with them. So, um, I'm just like in the ballpark I'm about to knock it out. Um, so he, um, uh, was behind the beer tent or in the beer tent and, um, obviously your girl was parched. So, um, trying to figure out which Oktoberfest, uh, brew was my, was going to tickle my fancy. Um, like tickle me Elmo. <laughs> I do not laugh like that. If I did, I would probably weep. I have more of a cackle, but... So he hands us the beers, and I was like, thank you so much. And he winked at me. <laughs> and I was like... And I'm hoping... I don't know, because I couldn't see my facial expressions, but I'm hoping I turned around before I made that face. But I definitely was like... No, no. And they didn't have a tip jar, so I was like, that's the game he's playing. I know it. So... I was fueled enough to make a blog post about it because also there was a guy that uh, was pretty intriguing to me that I was talking to on the dating site and uh, he doesn't live here which that's one thing I kind of like about this dating site I'm on right now is it's kind of like nationwide which most people would find that highly annoying but I find it intriguing because you can ask people like you can ask locals about their spot. And so he's in Cali, which is a mistake. He's military, which is also a mistake. And for me, I mean, if you are from Cali and you're military, then, like, good for you. You're probably awesome and, like, have a really great personality. But I'm just saying in my experience. Um, but for me, so those two and then a couple other things. Um, he's really goofy and he likes Disney. And I'm like, damn it. So he was one that kind of spark sparked my interest a little bit. And... I just, I messaged him first, and I was like, you have the cutest smirk, possibly, of anyone I've ever seen. Because in every single one of his pictures, he was smirking. And I know, because I smirk. <laughs> so I was like, I can pick out a smirk in a, in a drive-by. I don't know. It's like, boo, boo, boo. I don't know. <laughs> so we started talking and whatever, and he was, like, super flattered and, like, super, like, you could tell, like, you could feel the energy through the messages. And... So then he's like, well, I don't get on here a lot. And, like, our messages were, like, I mean, paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs long. Back and forth, back and forth. And he was like, oh, yeah, like, we should carry this over to Snapchat. I don't get on this app a lot, blah, blah, blah. So we get on Snapchat. And he responds even slower than he did for him, before I delve into his story a little bit further, um, is going to be um, mild hot chili pepper um, or medium hot chili pepper because he's in Cali but he's not quite on chili pepper hot chili, red hot chili pepper level so it's like my biggest zing like because he's not quite a fuck boy um but he's cute and he knows that so I told him so that was like here we go joker in case you didn't catch that not the new one I haven't seen it but the one with Heath anyway so gosh I gotta stop saying that it's starting a trend so I, like, called him on all shit, um, or all military guys shit, uh, that I've personally experienced, or my best friend has personally experienced, or my other best friend, because both of us, three of us, um, dated some, some douche canoes, so 
that were military, and it was, like, textbook military. It was, like, dude, I've seen this in a movie. Like, like why are we replaying this tape? Come on now. I thought we were on to, like, instant play and, like, even beyond Blu-rays. I mean, I am selfish, and I do find you, like, sexually attractive. Um, but why would I still be talking to you if that's all I was, if that's all I wanted? That's my favorite question. That is my favorite question that a dude can ask is, well, if sex is all that I was after, then, like, why would I still be talking to you? Uh, because you haven't gotten it yet? Ding, 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 we have a winner. Do you want the curtain of the box? I will take the envelope that Meredith is- Um, I want you so bad. That's my favorite, because that's, like- it's my favorite. It's my favorite. As soon as I say that, I'm like, mm, you're kind of dead to me. Like, this is this is over already. So, yeah. Um, and I'm, you know, and he's like, oh, I'm not looking for just that. And I want to get to know you better. Okay. Okay, trick. And then he goes as far to compliment me on, he said, you have so much to, more to offer than just your beauty. Or beyond your beauty, I think is what he said. I've never had anyone phrase it that way. Uh, so when you are used to hearing a bunch of lines between your friends and yourself, like I said, and gone on 200 plus dates, when there's something that, like, is refreshing, you're kind of like, uh, ears are perked up, and my ears are kind of big, so when they perk up, it's like, yeah, do your ears hang, Lou? Uh, also, I introduced my mom into 2 chains the other day. Is great. So now anytime we do anything, she's like, not one, but two chains. And I'm like, you gonna need a giraffe while you counting this cash. I wish a trigger would. Kitchen cabinet. Anyway. So, good times with two chains. Two chains, but I got me a few. Uh. So the reason I'm bringing this guy up is because he he got me with that. And I'm usually a little more guarded than that. But I was just, like, super intrigued. And I was like, mm, this guy's in Cali. He doesn't live here. Uh, and all the stuff I called him on was right. Now, granted, he didn't, like, send me a dick pic or, like, try and seduce me. He just, like, I was just a number. Like, he just would open my messages and then not respond. Ever. At one point, like, in the beginning, he would respond, like, a day later. But now it's been since Tuesday. The first one was Sunday. So it's been almost a week. So I'm like, all right. But yet, he watches my story, like, one of the first four or five people to watch my story. And, and this is going to make me sound crazy, but remember I told you, I'm a female. All females are crazy. So if you ever talk to a female, guy or girl, ever talk to a female, and she says she's not crazy. If those words ever leave her mouth and she's not like it's not dripping with satire, then you need to run. You need to run, jetpack, Uber, like whatever. And dating typically is a women's game. Um, as long as your angles are good and you have enough cleavage or ass showing simple as that may sound and shallow as that may sound it's true so i mean I've, I've had dudes that i'm like on both spectrums like some that i was like did you really think i was gonna talk to you and then did, i never thought you would talk to me like i wasn't even gonna swipe on you because i figured that was just like high hopes he had high hopes and like that that's that octave was a little rough. mild chili pepper ended uh i sent him another message but i know because i'm crazy that not only has he been on snap because he's been watching my story but he's been like active with other people the way you can know that is by checking their snap score and writing it down or if you have a photographic memory but i do not so i wrote it down it was like i don't know 2000 something and then like it was like far into the 3000s when he had, like, when it had been, like, a day or two days since he, like, read my message and didn't respond. So I was like, cool. So he's talking to, even if he's not talking to other chicks, like, still, I'm worth a response. Even if it's, like, fuck you, like, I'm still worth a response. So that's why I leave my stuff unread until I have time to respond because I just think that that's 
the right thing to do so said you would make a great travel partner because you just like you're super knowledgeable about a lot of interesting things that the occasional tourist wouldn't know or wouldn't even begin to imagine to know and I was like damn he's right <laughs> what I like to travel some people like shoes same with humor. If someone says I'm funny, like my last like super serious boyfriend, really my only super serious boyfriend, who was like a fiance at one point, uh, one of the first things he said to me was, you're hilarious. And I was like, I love him. Like, who is this boy? I lo- Like, he's, he, he is one for the books. That and he got into my heart through music because there was this cover band that did like this really like, I don't know, indie version of a Hall and Oates song. I can't even remember which song, but a Hall and Oates song. And I was like, I mean, it's not as good as the original. And he was like, you know who this is? Like trying to like put one over on me. And then I was like, I, I'm sorry, you know Hall and Oates? And he was like, and I think we were both like dumbfounded because typically, how old were we? I was 20. I was 20 and he was 19. And like, come on, 20 and 19 year olds don't know Hall and Oates unless it's you make my dreams come true, Rich Girl. And Rich Girl was redone by Gwen Stefani, so most people know that version. So, but yeah. Um, so, be wary of the wink. Um, for, for guys looking out for a wink and what that would look like for a girl, um, is any little, I don't know, like just pulls at your heart. Like, if she compliments you certain ways or like touch your arm certain ways, like super tight dresses probably are a wink um, or cleavage. Like last night I was hanging out with my guy friend and I leaned over to tell him something. I totally forgot. I'm not used to having boobs. They, they're kind of new. Um, not because I bought them because I stress ate and they just showed up one day and I was like, well, Guess I'm curvy. So, I like burgers. I don't know. So, um, yeah. I leaned over and he was like, Stephanie. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm not really, like, I don't really know what to do with these. Like, I feel like, uh, what is her name? I can't think of the actress's name. In uh, 13 Going on 30, uh, whenever, Gardner, Jennifer Gardner. Whenever she's like, she's still like a 13-year-old in like a 30-year-old's body. And she's like, Someone compliments her dress, and she says, Thank you so much! I know, and I have these awesome boobs to fill it out. Yeah, you're welcome. I just grabbed my boobs on my vlog. Awesome. So, welcome for that. Um, Yeah, so look out for your winks, and um, that one I'm going to unfriend. So, it's been real. I missed out on a good traveler. You said it yourself. Anyway. So, uh, oh, another thing just to throw in there, uh, if you want to, if you want to boost your self-esteem, uh, I don't know how you would try to do this, but like yesterday I got hit on by a lesbian and it was funny because I was like, like I said, it was with my guy friend and I was like, I think she like low key just hit on me and he's like, there was nothing low key about that. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, well, girls are a lot pickier than guys are. And he's like, oh, absolutely. Absolutely, and she was sober, so, like, she definitely had her wits about her. And I was like, hey. <laughs> so, coming to you uh, with, with, I don't know, with uh, winks to spare, dates and cakes. Until next time.